The head of state's first stop was at Ehenye. Here, there are 1,371 unserviced plots. Residents are ready to pave way for development, but five households are yet to be compensated due to lack of funds. President Jacob was then taken to a new township, Ompumbu, where there are 1,800 plots available. At this township, 12 households are still waiting to be compensated. Hoshakati Town Council Chief Executive Officer Venel Ita and the Property and Development Manager Orestu Shilunga informed the delegation that there is also land at Onawa that can house 3,000 plots, but 72 households are yet to be compensated. A list of about 5,000 people, people that are on our waiting list. Mm -hmm. And when we are locating, we are also allocating according to that list, mm -hmm. first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, what Very we are doing. Good. They took time to show the delegation the layout of the three townships, and the head of state was impressed by progress made by the council in land allocation and housing provision in town. I must say I'm highly impressed by what you have done. We are in the right direction. So that's why we came here. Yes, we had uh, uh, AR people, our, our, our children, also demanding that they must have a deadline of 31st of July and they will illegally occupy the land. Thanks God. In democracy, we have elected people to represent you. You don't have to fight. You go to war when there is no dialogue. You go to war when diplomacy fails, they say. So as long as you have elected leaders democratically and citizens have a right to bring issues to them, you sit and talk. That's what we did last Friday and therefore we came to conclusion that we must just hasten what we have. Shaningwa emphasized on one plot per person, stating that she is not going to sign two plots for any individual. If double people per plus, the minister will not approve yes. because we want to do away with the backlog.